Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and to another video. Today I'm rock pooling in Dawlish Warren where I happen to find an awesome little squid in a rock pool as well as some other amazing species that I haven't found before. So be sure to stick around for that and if you do end up enjoying the video please leave a like and remember to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. So that's enough intro and let's just get into the video. <laughs> Before I had even got to the rock pools, I noticed that the beach had thousands of fish washed up on it. These fish are most likely to be white bait, and the main reason they are getting washed up is mainly due to larger fish, such as the Atlantic mackerel, chasing them up onto the beach. And my first find in the rock pools was this shanny. So I've just been searching around in the rock pools for about half an hour or so now. Nothing too great except for what's in this rock pool just in front of me. Um, I couldn't believe it when I saw this creature. I've been wanting to find one of these guys for ages. It is really, really exciting to see one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stop talking and let you guys see it. A juvenile squid. After posting an image of this squid in an identification group, it was found that this is most likely a European common squid. This particular species is known for its fairly short tentacles. I've come across many clusters of squid eggs on the shore this year, but to find an actual squid was amazing, especially being so close to home. This species can be found down to a depth of 200 meters, making this find even more special. Males of this species can grow up to 20 centimeters, with the females growing to 12 centimeters. Ever since I started using the Olympus TG6, I've loved filming common prawns, seeing as I'm able to zoom in really close to capture every detail of them. Here's another first for the channel, a long clawed porcelain crab. And this is the first time that I found a rock goby at Dawlish Warren, which is great as I rarely ever find gobies in rock pools. So, here is one of the other species that I alluded to in the intro, a common dragonette. This is the first time I found one at any beach and it was fantastic to watch it swimming around the rock pool. As the name suggests, this is the most common species of dragonette that we have in UK waters and it's also the largest, growing up to 30 centimetres in length. This one is just a juvenile, but the adults were a lot more colourful. 
I was really happy I was able to film this one burrow into the sand too. I believe they do this to hide from potential predators or to ambush potential prey. This was actually the first time I filmed hermit crabs with the Olympus and once again the zoom capabilities really helped me out. And to end off the video, here's a velvet swimming crab. Thank you very much for watching the video, remember to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.